The powerful owl is a seriously big bird, about a metre 40. So it's the largest owl in Australia. To give you an idea of the wingspan, it'd be about that big. It stands about 60 centimetres, but its wingspan is about a metre 40. Even for their size, they're very light, coming in under two kilos. Welcome to part two of Powerful Owls here on EnviroTube. So often when we're looking for animals in the bush, we don't actually see them directly, but we see evidence of them. And Whitewash is a perfect example of that. Powerful Owls. Who? It lets us know that they've been around the landscape. This section here is in good proximity to a nest hollow that's known for breeding. So this gives us an idea that they are in the landscape. Chris, what are we really looking at here? Well, overhead here we've got the, a big old open branch, so it suggests that this is the handover branch where the male will call the female across and hand over the possum. So, we found a little bit of uh, some bone here, probably from a possum or something. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's the possum leg bone. You can see how it's been crushed up, bitten mm. off, and that's why the the poo is so white. It's all that calcium in their diet. And it's only these bigger bones you'll find, and typically the jaw bones as well. Oh, okay. But most of that, or the rest, gets crunched up. They've got no problems crushing the bones? No. They get a ringtail almost every night, especially at this time of year, but uh, somehow they bounce back. The, the great friend of the, of the ringtails is the exotic plants that fill in the gaps between the native species. This is the pellet that they regurgitate, made up of fur, bones, claws, that sort of thing. Uh, this one has been had rain on it, it's melted down a bit, because normally they're sort of cylindrical that they can vomit out. The powerful owls are an arboreal hunter, which means that they take their prey almost exclusively from trees. Their primary food around this area is the ringtail, but they'll also take things like the grey-headed flying fox, brush-tailed possums, take rainbow lorikeets and other birds, and anecdotally a few other, other species as well. So a lot of people may have heard the powerful owl calling at night, but they need these dense areas of vegetation to, to roost, spend time during the day, and to raise their young in the large hollows. Thanks for watching EnviroTube, we look forward to seeing you next time.